good everyone how you lot doing so i wanted to just make this video real quick because recently i've gotten a lot of um comments from uh, the good pastor's um congregation of dumb average bitches <laughs> uh basically they're all coming saying something of ah uh, how can you want a woman if you're broke this this and that listen first of all man's not broke in it bro i just want to throw that out there um i'm not saying i'm loaded but i'm not broke so don't start coming with that shit my thing is though is that how are you in a position to call anyone broke when you're the one asking for money it's a bold strategy cotton let's see if it pays off for him that's like a homeless man coming up to me and being like yo bro i'm not gonna lie to you but you're looking real broke in that car it's just like nigga i got a car in a house you ain't have shit bro what the fuck a lot of you were coming on this whole thing of oh you know i would hate to be a man who can't take care of a woman but it's just like i'm not gonna lie to you bro you're a woman who can't take care of a woman. What? Maybe fix yourself up before you come this way talking some shit. Talking about, oh, I want to live life on easy mode and get paid bread just because this dickhead goes and says, oh, you know, if he's not cash apping you, he's not zelling you, then and I know some guys who can. Like, yeah, simps like you, bro. Simps like you. That are creating this fucking Disney Channel Prince perception of niggas that... Oh, yeah, you know, man, they just bred it up like that. Listen, let's be honest here right now, yeah. I live in the UK and we went through a terrible time with this pandemic. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people ain't got money like that. So the fact that you're trying to push man, them with low self-esteem at that to be giving money to these average things, bro. So I'm not going to lie to you. I've seen you. I've seen the people who are following you. I've read the comment sections. They're the most busted things talking about. Oh, yeah, see, he's preaching. He's preaching. He's like, yeah, he's preaching. But more time, why don't you fix your face, bro? That makeup ain't gonna help you. You're still gonna be ugly. Now you're ugly with paint on your face and you're talking shit. Shut the fuck up, bro, rookie. And then I'm seeing people talking about some, oh, yeah, you know, he's just telling women to know their worth. If you need to be paid for your time, if, if I need to take you on a date and you want money after that, I'm not gonna lie, but you're gonna be having some sausage and some meatballs on that menu. You what? Talking about some, oh, yeah, you know, I deserve to get money for no reason. And then you want man them to be booking holidays and they don't know you, bro? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'll be calling this for my wife, my mom, my sister. Those are the three women in my life that I give enough of a fuck about that I would book a holiday for. I'm not booking a holiday for you mediocre ass. Your pussy probably smells like sulfur as well. Like, bro, allow it, man. You're talking to me, bro. You're talking about, oh, I want a man to be stable, but there's no balance in your pH, bro. It means you need to shut the fuck up. That's what I do. If I don't have no honor, I would shut fuck up. Shut the fuck. <laughs> Why don't you get some stability in your body first before you ask for stability elsewhere? But yeah, bro, listen, man, I'm, I'm just tired of these things just, just sending messages talking about some, oh, I'd be mad if I couldn't be a provider. But I'm not going to lie to you, fam. You're not even worthy of being a receiver. So what the fuck do you want? Do you care about me being a provider? I'm just saying, man, listen, if some of you are getting pressed over the shit, I'm saying, listen, tighten your game up. Hit dogs hollow. If you so pressed about, oh, why didn't a guy pay for me, bro? Why don't you get yourself right first? And then maybe a guy will come and be like, you know what? I'm going to treat my girl every now and again. Because some of you don't want to get treated all the time, bro. You just are not worth it. You're just not that thing, bro. And one more thing as well. You're talking about, oh, I'm not going to give broke guys pussy. But I'm not going to lie to you, fam. If you had a rich guy in front of you, what do you have to offer him? Because let's be real. You want me to be a guy who's fit, has money, good looking, looks after himself, has ties of his families. But what are you bringing, fam? You're talking about has ties of his family. You're Jamaican, bro. Your dad left for the shop six years ago and still ain't come back, fam. Aww. He's still looking for those Marlboro lights, fam. You're talking about, oh, yeah, he's got to have money and have stability, fam. You, you're on your sixth overdraft, fam. Low it. You're talking about, oh, he's got to drive, fam. But more time, you're built like the car, fam. You're built like the tire. So what's good? Well, who's driving who, bruv? I might as well just jump on you and just fucking do the running shit they're doing at the circus and everything there, bruv. <laughs> Listen, it's very nice to understand your worth. But be realistic with your worth as well. Don't be coming here asking man them to be doing, oh, this guy's got to pay for me, he's got to do this, he's got to do that. Because at the end of the day, look at Bill Gates and, and Jeff Bezos. You can have money. It still ain't going to keep your bitch happy, bruv. A lot of these men that want to be splashing peas on their girls. That's perfectly fine to do if that's your girl. But if you're doing it for every girl, you're compensating for something. Because let's be real. Real niggas don't do that shit. Real niggas do not do that shit. 
Real niggas look after their families. Not random homeless girl, like random hoes on the street, fam. I ain't looking for a project, bro. Do you know what I mean? I saw something on, on Pastor Dickhead's channel today, fam. Man's talking about some, uh, uh, leave Jamal and get you a Matthew, bro. Nigga, shut up, man. There's a lot of black men in very good positions in life, bro. Just because you're in an area surrounded by men who aren't doing as well financially it could be due to different circumstances you don't know don't start thinking that yeah i need to level up and get me a white boy because let's be real there's a lot of broke white people as well fam matthew ain't gonna save you bro the way matthew you used to be reading is in the gospel bro get the word of god in you fam get the taste of hoe out your mouth hey yo what the fuck but yeah man that's the video for today just thought i had a quick i just thought i had a quick run at these chicken heads to be honest because they're is just talking mad shit just fucking cluck 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 bro just talking hella shit I'm not on that but yeah listen I'm, I'm probably gonna make another video on on the on the past who can't grow a mustache but I'm, I'm just gonna leave you and say this bro this is Derek jackson all over again all of you women are getting suckered into a guy who is not doing what he preaches Derek jackson was talking about black men don't cheat and it came out that he was busting up busting up cheeks so i'm just saying if you think Derek jackson done you dirty a nigga who boxes his baby moms for fun is probably not going to be the guy you should be going to for answers when you're looking for love in your life but that's the video for today take care and by the way if anyone wants to comment feel free to man i ain't gonna lie to you i'm all here for i'll see you a lot soon in a bit all right one more thing i wanted to add is just the fact that mandem I understand your self-esteem can be low. I understand some of you are thinking, raw, I can't get a girl. I can't seem to find a good one. Listen, man, the right one will come along. And when she does, that's the one you should be showering with, with like love, affection, gifts every now and again. Not these average things, man. Like, Don't be listening to a guy who's trying to preach about men, but he's a pussy. Like, hella beta male energy coming out of that, bruv. Don't listen to beta males, but when it comes to advice. There's going to be a girl that's going to come along. She's going to change your life for the better. In the meantime, bruv, don't be giving these hoes any type of money or attention, bruv. The woman that you should invest in is the woman that's going to be there for the rest of your life, bruv. Protect yourselves. Don't invest into someone until you feel like completely and wholeheartedly they will not leave you no matter what. When you find someone that holds you down like that, you tr you make sure they look good scalped the cuticle. But don't be, don't be getting pressured by a mandem who are coming. I can't even grow full mustaches, bro. Talking about some, oh, yeah, you know, uh, if, you, if you ain't sending her money on a cash up or a Zelle, or you ain't sending her money on Monzo or some shit like that, bro. Like, you, you ain't a real man, bro. That's not what makes a real man. Stop it. Get some help. A real man assumes responsibility. A real man looks after who he needs to look after. That's important to him. Not just some any Tom, Dick and Harry thing off the street, bro. So many 50p thing off the street, bro. These girls are asking you for money, man. They're a dime a dozen. But a girl who don't ask for much and is willing to do the well for you, now that's a diamond right there, man. And I'm not just saying that, but I'm not just saying that because obviously you might think, oh, I just want a girl to do the bare minimum, to do the bare maximum. I'm doing the bare minimum. Nah, meet them at the same energy, man. If you find a girl that's doing the bare maximum, you do the bare maximum as well. And that's what's gonna take you to that next level of happiness. But more time, don't be listening to this fucking idiot. Don't be listening to his dumb little squad of of groupies that are just chatting shit in his favor just be true to yourself and you'll find someone who will like the true you regardless of your financial status regardless of how you look regardless of how tall you are do you know what i mean but yeah man doesn't this fucking idiot man's just talking hella beta male shit bruv and listen on this channel it's all alphas bruv we don't do no beta male shit here bro but yeah man that's the video just a little bonus clip for you lot. So I'm just going to do my outro again. Take care in a bit. Just wanted to just do this real quick. While I'm editing this video, I I've just realized what the fucking guy was saying in that statement that I read it properly now. Man's basically saying, don't go for these brothers because they speak to bring everything to the table and they'll ask you stuff about your credit or your dating history or who you slept with. But go for a white guy because all he cares about is just making money. I'm not going to lie, but white boys aren't that... No man is that naive. They're not going to wonder who you dated previously. Like, let's be real. Like, the fact that you're pushing this notion of saying that black men are lazy and that black women need to go and start dating other races just for some bread. Bro, what kind of message are you trying to... Are you just trying to say, basically, women have to get the bag no matter what, no matter who they hurt, no matter who they have to go through? And then you want to try to do this thing 
that a lot of women do as well, which is why I say this guy's a fucking pussy. You want to insult someone who challenges your point by saying something like, oh, if he's mad, it's probably because he lives at his mom's house. Are you normal? Eh? Or it's probably because, you know, he lives with a roommate. Either situation is fine, but I'm not going to lie, but who are people moving out to impress, bro? I'm not going to... Move out for yourself. Don't move out to just say, oh, I live by myself. Like, be impressed by that. And more time, I just realized as well, this fucking guy limits comments on his on his page just so he doesn't get hate. Because if you look through it, they're all sucking him off in his comments. But if you really open up them comments, well, I guarantee you right now, a lot of men are going to rip you a new asshole. And I get you're scared of that, bruv. Probably lose what little mustache you have anyway, bruv. Looking like some dirty Sanchez on your face. <laughs> but... Listen, man, go get uh, them head tattoos. Clearly got your brain fucked up, bro, because they're just leaking bare ink, bare sympathy just going into your cerebral cortex of your brain, fam, and you're just chatting bare shit as a result, bro. Like, just let it go, bro. Man, just been... T I don't know who's been... Has your baby mum been boxing you back, fam? You've been taking too many licks to the head. Is that what it is, bro? They're just chatting all this shit, bro. Talking about, oh, black men are lazy. Let me, be, let me say this right now, fam. There's a lot of black men in very fulfilling marriages. This whole notion of, oh, black men don't commit, bruv. That's some bullshit, bruv. That's some bullshit, straight up. Because I look at all the black men in my family, fam, and I, all of them are committed. All of them are committed, bruv. So, to come and say that, oh, yeah, you know, black men don't commit, that's a load of shit, bruv. Some men might have past traumas. Some men might have some daddy issues lingering around. Lingering around. Doesn't mean they don't want to commit. They just ain't found the right person. And I'm not going to lie to you. If you subscribe to this guy's notion of, oh, yeah, you know, this is the way that I should be thinking. This is the way men should be moving to me. I'm not going to lie, but you definitely ain't getting married either. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. Where the fuck are your parents? But once again, I say in a bit, hopefully while I'm editing this, I don't find some other fresh shit to say. But yeah, this is probably going to be the last thing. See you all in the next video. Blimey, mate. Don't have feelings of anger towards me because I'm more of a dazzling fellow.